Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is brought to you by JYM Supplement Science. And this is a professional lightweight fight scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of two victories and one defeat. He stands six feet tall and he weighed in at 155 pounds. From Rochester, New York, he's representing Bone MMA. Let's hear it for Jake Hickman Hickson And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him, in the blue corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of three victories and three defeats. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 154 pounds. From Fall River, Massachusetts, he's representing Regiment Training Center. Make some noise for Alan Short Hughes. When the action begins, our referee in charge of this lightweight contest is Kevin McDonald. All right, here we, here go. we go. Oh, baby. Short fuse and the flat black with the red trim. We got the dragon red and the black for Hicks and Bob. Red glove tape for Hicks and Bob. Blue glove tape for Hughes. Low kicks early, just yeah. like thought they would. Aaron Hughes looking to counter with that left hook. Aaron's still on power early. Nice kicks early from Aaron. Almost hit that trip. Picks and ball with double unders now. Looking for that guillotine, it looks like. Aaron is known for that dangerous guillotine. He finished uh, Matt Denning with it. Yep. Even if it takes him a couple attempts, he really enjoys that submission. Looks like he's trying to climb. Aaron spent some time down in Albuquerque at Jackson Week for this camp. So I'm sure he got a lot of good looks over there. Oh, he's been doing that for a couple of camps now. Oh. Slipped out of the guillotine, did to Hickson Ball. Now Hughes trying to throw from his back. Nice elbows. Beautiful elbows from the back from, from oh, Hughes. Hickson Bird needs to get his inside too. bicep control, control some of those strikes. You gotta watch the back of the head, though. I think that was the back of the head. I think they're gonna call a timeout. Call. Yeah, they're gonna call a timeout on the back of the head. Caught him a couple of times to the back of the head. Hickson Ball was kind of like turning as hurt. they were throwing him. Yeah, Hickson Ball turned his head and kind of exposed the back of his head. And Absolutely. Kind of tough to tell. Kind of in the motion of it. And he's on his back too, so it's, right. like, it's not like you got somebody back mounted and you're raining down directly to the back of the head. This might be it. Hicks and Bell looks hurt. I'm looking at Hicks and Bell right now. He looks, he, I don't know if he knows where he, who he is. He looks hurt. The doctors are taking a real close look at him. He might just want to take a minute here. and yeah, Because it's a foul that rendered the stoppage, I'm not sure what the protocol is to right. let yeah. someone continue after a strike to the head. Sometimes people will elect to continue after taking a knee while they're down or whatnot. So this might be one of those cases. They're giving him time to recover. The doctor's checking him out. I'm sure Hicksonbot does want to continue fighting, though. Absolutely. That being said, despite them being some illegal blows there, there was some good work from the back with the powerful elbows. Yeah, I mean, it was shaping up to be a great fight. So an unfortunate if it ends here. Ah, oh, they're going to call over. it there. Oh, so man. It's a bummer for both That's guys on bad. both ends. Is that the doctor's call? It looks like the doctor called it. I think it. so, yeah saying that Hicks and Ball would be rendered yeah. unable to continue after the strikes at the back of the head. So we're going to wait until Kevin McDonald discusses with the judges, the commissioner. Oh, yeah, he looks like he's yeah his day play. is pretty good right there. So we're not sure if this is going to be a no contest yeah. or a, D a DQ. Because if it's a DQ, it goes as a win for Hicks and Ball. No contest. Let's yeah. make the rematch. The walk, yeah. yeah. Sure. And you know, for Aaron's sake too, I'd like it to be a no contest, just because. For sure. You know, obviously yeah, he didn't mean to do it. You're in the move moment. Definitely, he was in transit. It was he was already throwing the elbows when uh, 
Hicksonville turned his head. For you, sure. You can't turn your head as a defense. Mm -hmm. So if you're standing up and somebody kicks and you turn your head and it hits the back of the head, that's a legal strike. It's a little different on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. I think that Hughes was definitely throwing some flurries being on his back. When do you see an opportunity to strike someone to the back of the head when you're on your back? So right. take a minute to discuss. I'm not sure exactly what the ruling is going to be. Talking to Commissioner Kyla Charty right now. We got the replay coming right oh, yeah, here. We'll look take at Aaron. a look at it here, see if we can see what exactly happened. Looks like one to the ear, yeah. two to the ear, one to the back, two to the back. And it's hard when you're trying to aim for the ear too, right? Yeah. Especially if they're moving, you maybe hit it once, but. And Aaron's not particularly looking at his targets right there. He's kind of just throwing off of his back in a bad position. Yeah. Couple of them are clean. Mm -hmm. Couple of them looked like he hit the side of the head and grazed to the back, but then a couple of them definitely to the back of the head. No question about it. But and Hixenberg wasn't, you know, turning in and trying to better his position. He's kind of moving right. with. But either way, right, too bad for both of them. Yeah, unfortunate turn of events here for this fight. You know, shaping up to be a great fight, but unfortunately, some illegal strikes. That's too bad, especially both guys training really hard for this fight, putting in a hard camp uh, for it to end this way. It's disappointing. It right, looks like they have made a decision on what the call is. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep the noise going for these two. At one minute and 12 seconds into round number one, by the referee Kevin McDonald, this Fight has been declared a no contest due to illegal strikes to the back of the head. So it is a no contest. 